The ancient city of Venice, Italy, has been trying to keep floodwaters at bay for more than a thousand years. Just this week, the city was flooded for a while when tides were higher than expected. But now, with a little more warning, a recently completed barrier system has been activated. Only on CBS This Morning, Chris Livesay is in Venice with a look at those dikes in action. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. You know that during high tide in Venice, I could expect to have water up to my knees, but take a look at St. Mark's Square. It is dry today, and it's thanks to a six and a half billion dollar flood prevention system that's proving successful. Now, it's far from perfect, but it could be this city's best shot at survival. Dickens once said you'd shed tears to see Venice, but overnight, as four feet of tidal seawater try to engulf the city, it's these 78 retractable dikes that could almost make you weep, says Chief Engineer Francesco Olsola. Is a, a very emotional. It's called Mose, Italian for Moses, and just like in the Old Testament, it's parting the sea, keeping the Adriatic from swallowing its crown jewel. For centuries, it was water that protected Venice from invaders until it became the invader itself. Now, these floodgates are the only thing standing between the exquisite and extinction. Last year, climate change and high tides triggered the worst flooding in more than 50 years. A catastrophe in a city whose lifeblood is its beauty. A catastrophe, this time, averted. Without the Mose, uh, every day, more, more or less, every day is flooded. Like a suit of armor, yet with chinks. It takes an excruciating 48 hours to activate. Not enough warning to thwart a flash flood earlier this week, swamping St. Mark's Basilica and workshops like Paolo Brandolizio's, where he's been carving gondola orlocks for 26 years. It doesn't take much, does it, for water to come in here? No, no, no. it's just a few inches away, he says, right at the doorstep, just like the global climate crisis, says environmental scientist Jane DeMosto. Venice, I think, is the canary in the mine for other places that need to make very radical choices about how to survive in the future. And for now, that radical choice is working in Venice. And climate scientists say that low-lying coastal cities in the U.S. should be paying close attention. Places like Boston, Los Angeles, and Miami that could be seeing their own severe flooding in the coming decades. Gail? Yeah, we should be taking notes. Venice is such a beautiful city, Chris. I see why people get emotional about that story. Thank you very much.